Hey, it's Paul, and I, uh, I decided to make, uh, I already made one video today, I figured I'd make two. So, um, what's big in the news right now, Sports Center is what's going on with Kobe, Kobe Bryant, and love the guy or hate the guy, the guy's a champion. I mean, bottom line, he knows how to win, and his work ethic is crazy. I mean, no, no one keeps up with it, and he wins. Now, where he lacks, what he lacks in, and I know Dave even said this on SportsCenter, is uh, his ability to lead people. He, uh, he expects so much out of people that he, uh, you know, he turns them off. You know, and that, that doesn't work. He doesn't have those, those people skills, so to speak, that he needs to have to be a coach, I mean, even if you want to be a coach. Uh, and that's where I think, like, if you were to go to Danny Johnson, because she would teach uh, the different types of personalities, and uh, Kobe, by the way, is a ruby. A, a ruby basically uh, is a go-getter. Um, they are leaders. Uh, they work really, really hard, and nothing gets in their way. They don't need friends, so to speak, because... They they want to to win. They want to win more than anything else. And uh, right now, the whole thing's with Kobe and Dwight Howard, and I believe Dwight Howard's probably a Sapphire. And Sapphires are more uh, outgoing. They're more... Uh, they want the attention. They want to have fun. And uh, I, th I think that's kind of one of the problems that's going on there. And uh, I don't know. Personally... Personally, I feel Kobe might have gone a little far. I understand what he's doing, trying to call uh, Dwight Howard out. And uh, for those of you that don't know, um, I will put in the quotes a little later on in a blog. But I just want to talk about this just a little bit. Uh, personally, I look up to Kobe. And, and it's not because of his, his personal life. I look up to him because of his work ethic. The guy is off the charts. I mean, he is excellence. I, I just can't, and I know people out there hate the guy. They hate the guy, and that's fine. You can hate the guy, but you can't hate his work ethic. He, you know you have a champion in him. He doesn't make excuses. And I'm not, I'm not saying this because I love Kobe or anything. I'm just saying this because it's an example for other people to follow. I mean, if you want to be great, you have to put in the work. And, I mean, talent aside, you have to put in the work. And you have to work harder than anyone else. Uh, you have to, so, if you have a business, you have to work harder than anyone else. I mean, it's just the way it is. You have to do more than anyone else. You have to be more focused than anyone else. Uh, you might have to make some sacrifices. It's not all fun and games. Just the way it is. So, I just want to make a quick video about this. Um... I personally find it interesting. Um, I feel, you know, as a sports fan, I'm a Laker fan big time. I feel this is, is probably not the best thing for the Lakers. I I feel, I, you know, I feel there needs to be someone else in there that, that mediates all this stuff because I feel like Kobe's trying to take over and everything. And and I don't think Dwight Howard's going to stick around. I really don't. I think he wants to have fun. Yeah, he wants to win a championship, but I just see him more of a, a, as a fun guy that wants to, uh, you know, have fun. And Kobe's like, hey, you know what? You're with the Lakers, and the Lakers win championships. That's bottom line. That's what it's about. Nothing else matters. It's about winning. It's about winning. Other franchises, not like that. Like he said, there's no one else that's going to ride him as hard as I'm going to ride him. He doesn't know what that, you know, he's never experienced that. And uh, personally, for me, because I'm a Ruby, I think it's awesome. And, you know, this is something I struggle with, too, because I will come off as too strong. I am a no-nonsense guy. I, I am a no-excuse kind of guy. I can't stand excuses. I hear them every day, and I can't stand them. Don't bring them to me. I hate them. And, and the reason I hate them is because I know they're not going to get you to where you want to go. It's just that simple. They're not going to get there. But... I also understand that you can't tell um, certain people 
there are people, their their personalities are are not like mine. They they don't they don't have this drive where they just want to win. And that's that's just where they're at, and they want to be you know the best and everything. They don't have that. They they uh, more or less allow the excuses to come up, and and, and it's not a big deal to them. Um, so there's different language you can use, and like I said in the beginning, Danny Johnson teaches you all this stuff. So um, I'm not making this as a, as a promotion for Danny Johnson. I just know because I have gone to First Steps to Success. I have read her book, First Steps to Wealth. I have listened to her CDs, um, and I just you know I, I see it. I've heard it. I, I've seen it in action. I can tell you pretty quickly what your personality type is. Um, I'm still not the best at communicating the diff with the different personalities because, like I told you, I'm a no-nonsense guy, and uh, I really hate excuses. I really do. Um, you can probably see that in my writing and my blogs. You can hear that in my videos. Uh, and I know what works, and I don't candy coat it. I don't sugarcoat it. Just not me. And I'm working on it, though. I'm working on making the language a little better. Making it, uh, you know, so I'm not offending the people that are going to take offense to it. Um, me, you get up in my face, you tell me, hey, you're screwing up, you're doing this, you're doing that. I'm going to take note of it, and I'm going to change my behavior. But um, other types of personalities don't necessarily do that. They... Uh, they either kind of climb back in their shell, like a little turtle, climb back in their shell, or scared of the world, you know, um, and they do nothing, and and that's not the the results I want to see happen with these kind of people, you know. I want to help them too, and in order to do that, I have to learn all these different languages. Anyway, I am uh, going to cut this short. I don't want to ramble on forever. I just, you know, this is in the news. I wanted to share my opinion on it. Where, where, what I think about it, and uh, we'll see where it goes. You know, it's, uh, again, my name is Paul. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. I hope you got something out of it, and I'll talk to you soon.